from beautiful South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Miami. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. Uh, some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? <laughs> Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. Now a guy who played his high school ball at Miami Central, it's James Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Play action. Now it's Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. The good signal calls would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Now Allen on the move to his left. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Now a give running right. It's Cook. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, then a touchdown, Bills! Dawson knocks a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Barrios. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. 
To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. In motion, Hill. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second down and eight. On the ground, this is Devon H. N. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And A-Chan is someone the Dolphins are expecting a lot from in his sophomore season. He's an electric playmaker who, every time he touches the ball, feels like he could go the distance. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Looking to pass to him. To the sideline and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Tua sets up to pass it, and that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. The intended receiver there was Janu Smith at its third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Flush to his right. Good work on the scamper by Tungabailoa. It's a first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Tua. He'll dump this off to Achan. So just three yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And they're not able to hook up there, incomplete. You still hold your breath a little as a defense when Tua gets out of the pocket. You're worried about him scrambling and getting a first down. But there, he made the wise call. If there's nothing downfield, just throw it away. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. In motion, Hill. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 28 yards. And the Dolphins respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. 
Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Allen going to throw. He's got his man. That's the rookie from Florida State. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and one. Here's Allen. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Throw caught by Achan. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. And we constantly talk about people being on the same page. In this situation, the two of them saw the play with the same eyes. They understood where the open spaces were going to be. And they found a way to get there to pick up a new set of downs. Play action, now it's Tua. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Tua gonna throw. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Oliver with the sack, and he really came into his own a season ago, recording a career-high nine-and-a-half sacks, playing at a level that the Buffalo Bills envisioned when they made him a first-round pick. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Fair catch called for. No gimme in these conditions, but he's able to look this one in. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. from midfield. Here's Allen. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football he's going to have a first down. Samuel is someone who you have to count for on every play because he can make catches as he did there or he can carry the ball out of the backfield. An explosive playmaker who can do a lot of damage with the ball in his hands. 
Allen now looks to throw. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Again, this is Cook. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. To throw, it's Allen. It's caught by Coleman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Looking middle, and that's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. These two teams all tied after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a second and three forthcoming. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from a yard out. And the Bills have taken the lead. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Now Tua. It's caught. Smith. Call it a gain of six on the play. And it'll be second down. Getting this quickly to Berrios. They'll give him four yards there. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. 
Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast and in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. A stop made defensively by Mike Edwards. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. On play action, here's Tua. And the pressure gets there, and Tua's going to be taken down. Daquan Jones busting through to get him for a loss of six. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Off a of play action, Tungamailoa. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Hill going to go in motion right. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The slot man in motion right. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. Only three there on the screen. It's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. Samuel in motion. Cook up the gut. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. Here's third and six. To the air, Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. Like what I've seen so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. And going deep for Hill. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier. Trying to keep him in the rhythm. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Well, this is taken. 
taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 74 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from drawing level. Now he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle, hit him a bunch during the game, and try and keep him in front. If you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, bye bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. A little juke, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 48 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Allen. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. And a short gain here down to the 22. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 15-yard line. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Powerful running, but he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Now Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. 
You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Now Allen working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills have taken the lead. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Miami set to take over. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets him right back up to that level. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. He's going to drop this underneath to Mostert. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And they'll come up second and seven. Two and a throw again. And his throw is incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. And this one complete to Smith. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now second and five. Here's Tua. This one left side caught by Barrios. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. A 
Looking to pass to him. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Again, they will throw it with Tungabailoa. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. Two and now, third and goal. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Sanders' kick is good, and that'll bring him back within four. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. The forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They're going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the night. And the Dolphins come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders.
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Again, it's Cook. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 66 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, if you like the guys who run the ball, you're enjoying watching this. But the other guys, especially the defense coordinator, trying to figure out an answer on how to slow down the running game, I think maybe starts to call more blitzes because you can call run blitzes in order to try and get more people to the point of attack. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. That one goes for eight yards. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. To throw, it's Allen. Quick slip, and the ball is knocked out. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Motion man is Berrios. Following the fumble recovery, here's Tua. And he completes it to Berrios. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 33 yards that time. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started. So they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. In motion goes the tight end. Now Tua. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. Here's second and ten. They'll run right side with Mostert. And he'll take this one inside the ten down to the eight. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle with his second touchdown of the night. And they are able to add on to their advantage. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. 
And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's Allen to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Remember, Brandon, he ran for a touchdown earlier, so his decision to go ahead and tuck it and go again turned out to be a wise one. And the decision is what is important here. He has made some good decisions on when to tuck it and go. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. Motion man is Shakir. Allen going to throw. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. This is a rarity in the NFL. A 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen. And, of course, a special player. On play action, Allen. This is Coleman with a grab. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Samuel in motion. To the air, Allen. That's Samuel caught left side. The result only four yards there on the play. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now Allen off the bootleg. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Boy, you would not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he missed fires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. <laughs> he definitely wants that one back. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Well executed fourth down conversion. Yeah, I know this will surprise you, but I've actually done a little bit of reading lately, and all the analytics say that you should go for it more on fourth down. I think someone has referred back to their analytics coach. Maybe he's got a pipeline into the booth because that's a really good play call. Well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. Quick throw here by Allen, complete. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Well, they've got it down to the three, but now this is third and goal. Allen. And that is incomplete. Boy, such a good drive. You'd hate to have it end in three. Do you think about going for it? Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they've moved the ball so well should lead you to the decision that maybe we should go for it right here. Also, as a head coach, show some confidence in your team. Let them know you think they can go get it. The kick by Bass is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? 
So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And Miami's offense set and ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. dropped oh that could have been a near certain six points he was all alone but he could not look it in my oh my and that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself you don't look it in and all of a sudden it's on the ground a surprise to all a run with Mostert up the middle he'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards the way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Third and eight. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Ed Oliver able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. They start the drive with Cook. And a loose football! Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Throwing now is Allen. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. With a quick slant, good for eight and a first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Allen. 
Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Out to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Second down and three. From the gun, it's Tua. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. The offense on third down tonight. Well, they've converted seven times and could use another right now. Here it's third and three. Tua going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. And that was Dorian Williams who found his way through and planted him for a loss on the play. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Third down and 13. HN gets it from the gun. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. The kick by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 30. The tight end in motion right. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And Cook has it. Left side. So five yards here. Five on the play. And it's second down. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right. It's not like, you know, they're totally out of it. But they have to score quickly. And they're going to need some big time plays. Chunk plays. Explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Allen now looks to throw. Right back to Cook for another completion. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A five-yard pass on first down and another five-yard connection there. But correct me if I'm wrong, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Here's Allen. 
Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. I and mean, what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Allen to throw once more. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Allen. On the move past the 40. And all the way down to the 33-yard line. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. That's caught. It's Coleman. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down, Allen. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. 
Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Dolphins are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And that's the type of run that you'll live with. In this game, he's had a good number of carries. He's just been unable to really break off anything substantial. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.